I'm very proud of my grandfather and others in his generation. When faced with a need for housing, they use local resources and their own labor to meet that need. The current housing crisis in First Nations communities came about when federal law and programs interrupted access to resources and traditional textile and housing construction practices. Ecotrust Canada has partnered with First Nation communities on the west coast of Vancouver Island as we work together to address this and help improve the housing situation. Many of the houses in New Chanelth communities don't last long. They use the same building and design standards as houses in Aboriginal communities across Canada, regardless of location, climate or cultural history. They're simply not designed for specific places or the families who live in them. New Channel homes need to be able to handle coastal rainforest conditions, which means a lot of wind and rain. Improper design leads to mold, mildew, fungus, and poor indoor air quality. The buildings deteriorate quickly and people develop health problems. Current building codes and designs also don't address the needs of large households where the generations live together and plan to stay together for decades. The solution is to draw on traditional knowledge and practices, local materials and labor, and current green building technology to create homes that are healthy, energy efficient, and affordable, and that meet community needs. Ecotrust Canada's green and culturally appropriate building design project is doing just that. The very first project home was finished on May 1st, 2013, built by Terry Dorward Seacher and his family. There was a buzz in the community and excitement in the Seacher family at the prospect of doing things differently. There was a sense of empowerment too, as family members were involved in design and construction. In the next 15 years, over 300 homes will need to be built in the region. To make this happen, we are encouraging surrounding communities to incorporate the design standards into their policies and planning. We are also looking at new ways to finance home construction and to monitor costs and savings associated with green technologies. The Real Estate Foundation of BC has awarded us grants for the work because of the innovation and collaboration in our approach. This project has the potential to benefit communities, governments and families now and far into the future in places up and down the coast. Building community capacity and partnerships to support this vision is key. As a demonstration initiative that's about learning while doing, this work is part of Ecotrust Canada's mission to help build understanding of the challenges faced by communities. It is allowing us to build the collaborations necessary to generate long-term change. By engaging communities, we are learning how to create original solutions for building in remote rural areas. Project partners have already learned much about what works and what doesn't through this process. We are committed to sharing findings and lessons learned with other communities so that they can update their policies and practices to avoid potential issues. Looking to the future, we have already started improving the program by bringing on partners with extensive experience in home building under adverse circumstances. We are working to extend the program into the broader Clackwat region and beyond to all of Vancouver Island and other parts of British Columbia.